My name is Bridget Cannon. And I'm John Cannon. And we are the parents of Isabel Cannon. She loves to be at school. She loves to be with her friends. She loves everything pink, and she loves her American Girl dolls. She's a very loving girl and very close to her sister, loves her sister. At age seven, um, Isabel had her first seizure. She started developing other problems as well. She was having some difficulty walking. Uh, her speech was not as articulate as it was before. So we ended up going to Cincinnati Children's Hospital. They were the one who diagnosed her with what she has now, which is called Batten's disease, CLN2 type. So she does not make a certain enzyme that flushes toxins out of your body. It's a terminal disorder with no cure. We got octopus, look. So Isabel Cannon is a senior, with, this is her last year with us. Have you seen Ice Age? She's a sweet, sassy young lady who, um, they're in the island, just continuing to grow and develop here at Ballard. There you go. Well, it's just been so awesome that she's been able to have um, basically a regular high school experience. This is what the story's about. Two possums. The team at Ballard has been really great, too. We're so thankful for what they do. Bob. She's going to graduate from high school. She will end her career at Ballard, and she's going to have a senior prom. Up, 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 up. Pretty much all of the adaptive equipment that she has at Ballard has been donated by Crusade for Children. Hmm. Nice! She's fabulous, I love her. I am her physical therapist. So, you ready? She is a student who has some, some difficulties with movement. This foot, go! We use an adapted tricycle with Izzy NPE to work on endurance and strengthening and balance, and it is fantastic for her. That's it, there you go, girlfriend. We wouldn't be able to do any of this without the Crusade support. The Crusade has funded all sorts of adaptive equipment for us that is large and therefore very much more expensive than what we would be able to manage with district-related funds. We wouldn't be able to have her on a bike if we didn't have that funding from the Crusade. Helping these kids become independent and get ready for life after high school would not be possible without the equipment that Crusade for Children has given to us and provided for us. I would strongly urge anyone to donate to the Crusade for Children because I've personally seen how it impacts in a positive way. We just wanted to say thank you to all the families that donate to Crusade for Children. We are so grateful for every donation that's given because as you can see, it has helped our daughter and it's helped so many families. So many enjoy the benefits that the Crusade provides more than you might realize and you never know you might need them yourself one day. Well, that bike that you just saw Isabel riding cost nearly $5,000. This year, the WHAS Crusade for Children awarded more than $1.4 million in grant money to K-12 school systems, including JCPS. And don't forget, the 69th annual WHAS Crusade for Children Telethon is this weekend, June 4th and 5th. You can watch it right here on WHAS 11. But you don't have to wait to donate. You can donate online right now at whascrusade.org. You can also make donations using PayPal, Venmo, Apple Pay or Cash App.